is unfair. Let's take a look at different situations where life just doesn't seem fair. Jason worked really hard on his English paper and received a C. He compared his paper to a friend who did less work but received an A. Jason <laughs> didn't think it was fair. Sharon, Sharon was only 10 when her mother died of breast cancer. Sharon didn't think it was fair that she had to grow up without a mother. Oh. Tim hit a great left fielder in the baseball game that should have won the game, but the ump called it a foul. <laughs> so, is life fair? The Bible says in Ecclesiastes 9-11 that I realize another thing, that fast runners do not always win the races, and the brave do not always win the battle. The wise do not always earn a living, and intelligent people do not always get rich. Capable people do not always rise to high positions. Bad things happen to everyone. It's not fair that a, far, that a young child loses a parent due to a disease or to a car wreck. It's not fair that a fire destroys someone's house the week before Christmas. English paper grades and all part decisions are sometimes unfair. Natural disasters like floods and hurricanes happen everywhere. There's a lot of chance, like the verse says, life is not always fair. When sin entered our world, bad things began to happen to everyone. I thought that God was in control. Is God really fair? Fairness is a part of God's character. It's in the Bible, Isaiah 11, 5, for you to be clothed with fairness and with truth. The Bible shows us God's character. King David writes, the Lord loves righteousness and justice. The world is full of his unfailing love. Psalm 33, 5. Another verse in Psalms says, let the heavens declare his righteousness for God himself is judge. Psalms chapter 50, verse 6. And God is the judge and can only be fair all the time. Fairness is part of his character. God treats the good and the bad fairly. God doesn't always stop the bad things from happening, but he has promised to turn bad experiences into blessings. A very familiar verse says, and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God and to those who are called according to his purpose, Romans 8.28. So yes, God is fair and just. Does God expect me to be fair? Being fair is very important to God. Micah 6.8 says yes. And what does the Lord require of you? to act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Overall, fairness is about making sure all are treated with the kindness and respect they deserve. God doesn't care who you are, what you look like, or where you're from. He treats us all fairly, being an imitator of God in life, judging to others fairly, and show no favoritism. So once again, how can we treat each other fairly? Fairness is plain fair and by the rules. Fairness is treating others the way you want to be treated. Fairness is taking turns. Fairness is sharing. Fairness is listening. Fairness is telling the truth. Wow, that sounds a lot like the golden rule. If people follow these, there will be few complaints about unfair treatment. So in every situation, is it possible to be fair to everyone? Should you try? God says yes. You should try to treat everyone the same way you would like to be treated. Fairly. It's a golden rule! Stand up and sing with us once you catch the tune. We want to teach you a new song about the golden rule.